channel I hope you're all doing really well today so I thought today I would take a little break from posting sewing projects and just do a bit of a favorites video with you guys going over some of my favorite fall things the first day of fall is officially tomorrow and where I live the weather has definitely changed it was really weird normally it's a very gradual change but last week just kind of overnight it cooled down a lot so I am definitely in full-on fall mode so I thought I would just share with you guys some of my favorite fall things across a bunch of different categories so I've got some style favorites some lifestyle things and I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in let's talk about some fall things so let's start out with a few fall fashion things the first thing that I have to talk about is my favorite favorite thrifted sweater if you've been watching my channel over the past couple of weeks I think I've worn this in almost every video because I love this so much I thrifted this last fall and it wasn't something that I thought I would wear as much as I do but it is just so comfy and cozy it is originally from American Eagle and I think it must have been pretty new when I found it at the thrift store because it has these kind of puffy sleeves that are a little bit trendy so I love this sweater it's so cozy and comfy and I wear it so so much um, so I'm so excited to get to wear this one again and now that the weather has cooled down just a little bit It's one of my favorite favorite pieces in my wardrobe and one of my favorite thrift finds ever I think another secondhand fall fashion favorite is a little bit more recent of a purchase And that is this pair of boots that I found on thread up These are originally from Everlane and I just love the style of them so much They're this really soft leather and I like that they're this lighter color But with the dark heel I think they go with so many different outfits and the way that the boots are cut I think is really flat if that makes sense. I have very like small ankles in proportion to the rest of my leg and it's something that I'm weirdly self-conscious about but I feel like these fit me really well so I like them a lot and I love the color. I love having a little bit of a lighter color of pair of boots to have in my wardrobe. I think it goes with neutral outfits so nicely. Now an accessory that I've really been getting into over the past couple of years in the autumn are berets. I have a little collection of them here and I think they're just so much fun. They're really practical especially if you have bangs like me and it rains a lot where you live. I feel like these keep my hair from getting really crazy on bad weather days. I find them really comfortable and they add a nice element to an outfit as well. So I think they're a lot of fun, just a nice interesting winter hat option. So I have a few different colors of berets. I call these my Neapolitan ice cream berets because they are those colors. So I have this pink one and then this cream colored one and then also this camel brown colored one and I love them so so much they're all made out of wool I think that these two I got from Nordstrom and this one was from Target they are all kind of old but I think berets are kind of a classic piece that you can find a lot of different places and I'm sure there are some awesome secondhand options available as well I do think it would be really fun to try and make a beret at some point so maybe I'll experiment with that because it does seem like it would be something I could do, maybe. I don't really know, but I think it would be fun to try. So if any of you guys have ever ventured into beret making, let me know how it went for you guys. But I definitely love wearing these in the fall and I'm excited to break them back out. Now I can't talk about fall fashion and not mention my trench coat because I wear this thing so much in the fall. A trench coat is really the perfect way of fall outerwear for where I live because it doesn't get super, super cold but you do want a light jacket. And also this is really practical for when it rains and we do have quite a bit of rain where I live as well. So this is definitely my most worn piece of outerwear in the autumn. And mine I got on Poshmark, it's originally from J. Crew, um, but I would really recommend this style. This is the J. Crew Icon Trench and you can find it secondhand a lot of places, but it is one that J. Crew brings back year after year if you are interested in it. It's definitely a really beautiful piece and really great quality. I think this is my third year with this jacket now. I'm not positive on that second or third year um, but I love it so much and I'm excited to break it back out now I'm not sure if I can technically count this as a fashion favorite but this pair of slippers has been one of my favorite things this year I actually just ordered these on Amazon several months ago and I love them so so much especially with this year turning out the way it has and the amount of time I've been spending at home these are just so cozy and comfortable the brand is hello Lucy. Halusi, I think that's how you say it. Um, they are just so fluffy and nice. They come in a lot of different colors as well. So if you're looking for some good slippers, I will link to these. So moving out of fashion into more like lifestyle type of items, um, my favorite fall candle is something that I have yet to order for this season, but I love PF Candle Company. I have one of their candles burning behind me today. They are one of my favorite places to get candles and their spiced pumpkin scent is my favorite fall candle. It's so, so nice. Doesn't give me a headache either. And I'm 
pretty sensitive to scents like that and it's just a really nice spicy but sweet scent so I'm definitely going to be ordering one of those here in the next couple of days to have for the fall season this year. Now I went to Trader Joe's last week I think and it did a big fall shopping trip for all of the interesting like seasonal items they have and I got a couple of different kinds of tea that I thought I would show you guys. The first one is their pumpkin spice rooibos and I think the tin is just the cutest thing. I really want to save this after I've drunk all the tea because it's just so adorable. I don't know what I could really do with this but it's very very cute. Um, this one I will say does not smell that great and um, you probably want to make sure that you like rooibos tea if you are going to get this one because it is a kind of distinctive taste. It doesn't smell that great but it tastes really really good it's the one I'm drinking today and it's a really nice flavor let's see what's in this so this tea is basically just rooibos tea and then pumpkin flavor and the traditional like pumpkin spices like nut nutmeg and cinnamon um so it is really good if you like rooibos tea I would recommend this one and the packaging is just so adorable and then I got one more tea which I would say is my favorite out of the two that I got this is the harvest blend herbal tea from Trader Joe's and this one has such a nice flavor it is cinnamon ginger hibiscus apple, chamomile, chicory, and orange peels. So it's kind of a unique taste and I really like this one. It's caffeine free as well so I've been having this one a lot before bed. I would say that this mostly tastes like apple cinnamon and it smells so so good as well so this one is definitely a favorite. Something a little bit random that I actually mentioned in my most recent vlog I think is a set of stationery that I got. This is a set of thank you cards that I ordered from Rifle Paper Company. I like to have stationery that kind of goes along with the season just for when I need it and and I thought these were so beautiful for the fall. It's this black background with a beautiful floral pattern and more deep autumnal tones. And then it also has gold foil. It just says thank you on the front. These are blank on the inside. And I just think they're so beautiful. So if you are in the market for some nice autumnal stationery, I would definitely check these out. I think they're so nice. And I'm looking forward to writing a few notes on these. Let's talk about a couple of beauty products. I definitely am not as into makeup and beauty products as I have been in the past, especially this year. I just find that I'm not thinking about it as much but I do have a few things that definitely make me feel like it's fall so I have two lipsticks that I really really like this time of year this one is from 100% pure and the color is called Sahara this is one of their matte lipsticks and this is what I have on today I just love this color it's such a nice kind of deeper neutral color for my skin tone at least and I think it's a really beautiful kind of dusty pink. It's a really easy to wear lipstick, but it does make me feel a little more like it's fall. And then the other one is from Glossier, and this is their lipstick in the color Jam, which looks really, really dark in the packaging, but it's a very sheer matte color. So this gives me a really nice berry color and you can either build it up or wear it really sheer. So I like the versatility of this one. I think it's really pretty. I also have a couple of nail polishes that I love and I really need to do my nails. I've been giving them a little bit of a break. So maybe this will inspire me too. This one is from Isla Cosmetics and the color is called Bless Your Heart. It's a deeper rose shade and I wear a lot of light neutral colors on my fingernails. So I think of this is almost like a darker version of that for the fall and winter. And I think it's a really pretty color and then the other one that I have is from Smith and Colt and it's this really beautiful deep red color I don't wear this one on my fingernails very often but I do my toenails in this one all the time I think it's such a great high quality nail polish and I actually am kind of feeling like I'm in the mood to put this on my fingernails so I might try this I haven't worn a bright red color in a long time it's such a pretty autumnal shade though now one more Trader Joe's fall find is their pumpkin body butter and I had heard of this on YouTube a lot over the years but I never tried it. I tried their coconut one, but for some reason pumpkin just sounded kind of weird when it was put into a lotion. But I smelled this and I actually really like the scent of it. It's more like a light spice type of scent and just a really warm smell. So I think it's really nice and it's very, very moisturizing, but not too heavy. So I've really been enjoying this and I just like having something that's fall themed. And then I've also made a little list of some of my favorite fall movies and books to share with you guys. So let's talk about that just a little bit. One of my favorite movies that I come back to year after year in the autumn is Anne of Green Gables, the version by Sullivan Entertainment. I love those movies, the first two. I watched them so much growing up and I would always watch the first one in the falls and motivate me to go back to school and feel really motivated to do well in school. So I kind of still do that even though I'm not in school anymore. I really enjoy watching that movie in the autumn 
all of the beautiful scenery as the seasons change throughout that movie is awesome as well, especially the autumn in Canada. I think that's so, so beautiful and I've always wanted to go visit in the fall, so I need to make that happen at some point. Um, but that is definitely my favorite version of Anne of Green Gables and I love watching it this time of year. A little bit more of a spooky movie that I break out every Halloween is Arsenic and Old Lace with Cary Grant. This is such a fun movie. It is directed by Frank Capra, who also directed It's a Wonderful Life. So if you watch that at Christmas, then watch Arsenic and Old Lace at Halloween. Um, it's a little bit just weird but it is really really funny and just a fun movie to break out at that time of year. So I definitely break that one out every October and I'm very much looking forward to doing that again this year. Now one more movie that I love in the fall that's a more recent addition to my movie favorites is the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. Something about the vibe of this movie just feels very cozy to me so I do really like watching this one in the fall. This is set in the post World War II time period and it actually taught me a lot about um, World War II that I didn't know. I didn't know anything about the Channel Islands during that time period, so I think it's really interesting. And it stars Lily James, and I think she is lovely in the role. One more movie that I do associate with the fall season is the live action Disney Cinderella. I love this movie. I think it's just such a perfect like fairy tale movie. It's directed by Kenneth Branagh, who I absolutely love if you've seen any of his Shakespeare stuff. Um, I love that he did a fairy tale movie. And maybe it's just the association of pumpkins, but I really associate Cinderella with the fall. So that's one that I enjoy this time of year as well. And then for books, I put on this list also the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society book. That is the longest name ever, but I really enjoyed the book of that. It is formatted in letters and it's a really easy read. I actually listened to the audio version on Audible, which is really nice because they did different voices for each character that wrote a letter. So it was a really entertaining audiobook. I would really recommend that. And I just put that on here as well because that's another one that I enjoyed in the autumn. A book that I read last year, I think it was, maybe the year before, um, was The Blue Castle by Ellen Montgomery. So if you love Anne of Green Gables, I think you will really like this one. This is a novel that she wrote more directed to adults. So as an adult, it's really fun to read because I grew up loving her work so much. This is something that feels a little bit more relatable, I guess, at the age that I am now. So I really enjoyed that book. Um, and if you are a fan of Anne, you should definitely check out The Blue Castle. And then one more thing that I put on this list, I put Agatha Christie books and I actually have not read much Agatha Christie. I think I've read two of her books but I am going to be reading Death on the Nile in the next couple of weeks because the new movie of Death on the Nile is coming out in October and I would really like to have read it before I watch the movie. And I'm not a big mystery person, but I do feel like mysteries are a lot more fun in the fall around October time and that just seems to suit the time of year. All right guys, so that is everything that I wrote down. I hope you enjoyed this just kind of random conglomeration of cozy fall things. Let me know what some of your favorite things in the fall are. I would love to hear what movies and books you guys get into this time of year or just different things that you love. So definitely share with me down below in a comment. And I hope you enjoyed just a little bit of a different video today. I will be back with sewing projects on Wednesday and Friday this week. So you can look forward to that. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you are new to my channel and you made it to this, the end of this video, I would love it if you would go ahead and subscribe. You can do that by clicking the red button down below and I would really, really appreciate it. And if you'd like to keep up with me outside of YouTube and see more random things like this from my daily life, you can check me out on Instagram. I will have that on the screen and also down below. But thank you guys so much for that. Ah, tripping over my words here at the end. But thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out on my channel today and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.